Saving you money tonight, car prices continue to rise due to the shortage of microchips and just cars in general. But car dealers are also just adding money on top of their prices, sending prices even higher. Team 12's William Pitts explains this dealer markup and what you can do about it. There are a lot of empty parking spots at car dealerships pretty much everywhere. If you do find a car, you're going to pay a lot of money, maybe more than the suggested price. Nikki didn't have a choice. I was forced to buy a new car because I was my car was totaled. So she headed to the dealership and prepared to pay through the nose for a new Toyota Highlander. There were only two on the lot when we went there. You know, was it a good price? Well, you know, I'm a realtor, so <laughs> I look at like, I know what people are paying for houses and we're not in any different situation right now with cars. So Nikki paid the asking price. No money off, no cash back, nothing. Which today might actually be a good deal because of huge dealer markups. Average MSRP markups of 11% over the uh, asking price, the official price of the car. And for some models like say the Jeep Wrangler, it's 29.7%. Carl Brower, an analyst with iccars.com says those markups don't actually get you anything extra. They're not there because the cost of the car went up for the dealer. They're just there because there aren't many cars available. Just says dealer market. They don't even try to hide it. Don't even try to call it, you know, like, you know, ceramic coating or Scotch guard protection on the seat. The stickers are all over social media, like this one apparently from Peoria, a 2022 Toyota Tundra with an extra $10,000 tacked on. So what can you do? Brower has some advice. Is it worth it to haggle? Yes, haggle. Because Brower says if you're there to buy, the dealership may bend a little just to get you to act now. Look far away from home, like maybe even in other states. Brower says it might pay for itself. That may seem like a long distance to go for a car. If you save $1,000 and it takes you 10 hours total on uh, drive time, that's 100 bucks an hour that you just paid yourself by going further out than your normal uh, search zone. But his best advice, just don't buy right now. Brower says you have no power, no leverage, and prices aren't likely to drop for a while. William Pitts, 12 News.